miss you, Fred? <laughs> Make yourself comfortable, dear. Dinner will be ready in a few minutes. <laughs> I'm so glad you're in a happy mood. Hi guys, welcome to this uh, very special build I'm just about to show you in this tutorial. As you can see from my last video, it's drastically changed. And this is for everyone, including the people who struggle with durability, uh, for obviously for running twice. Okay, now you don't have to worry about it whatsoever. 
and I'm literally just about to show you everything on this. It's a flawless build that obviously a very good friend in our Discord, in White Walker's Discord, and he was the original creator of this build. So his name, a big shout out, and all credit goes to Hobo. Okay? And I'll leave, obviously, his game name, obviously, in the description, and I'll see the full credit. So, on to this tutorial. Okay? Right, firstly, we have a block off. Okay? So, you want to go over to the left hand side. Okay? That lava bomb. You'd be able to shift it and it'll stay in that location. So, easiest way, okay? So, just to get for reference, if you like this, okay? Literally behind here, you want to place uh, easiest way. Edited floor tiles, like this, three of them. Okay, all the way along. So you've got three edited tiles like that. Okay. So one, two, three. And then on the fourth one, you want uh, an edited floor tile like this. Okay. And that will stick the lava bomb. Just like that. And then once that's landed there, you want to place three walls along, just in front of it, and then behind it, you want obviously on this part an edit cone like this, and then three more cones along, edited all like this, so it's acting like a ramp, okay? Now, this wall dart is what I always use, just in case you get anything wandering over here, which I shouldn't. Okay, and the perks for this wall dart is what I always show in my um, videos. That's the perks for these wall darts. Okay. That's all the block off you need around this area. Okay. So, no insane block off like some of the old builds, some of the other people's builds. Okay. Obviously, Full credit for them, obviously, trying new builds out and all the rest of it. But if you want a very, very cheap, flawless build, I cannot recommend this build highly enough. Okay? So all you have to do is just sit over at Valley when you build it all correctly and do absolutely nothing. You don't even have to worry about trap durability. So that's the block off on the left hand side. Okay? This. There's obviously a little tiny block off here, okay? Some of, obviously, our guys are testing, obviously, without this, okay? Um, they're basically having, like, a freeze floor trap there with a wall dart just over there. Um, they're obviously testing that all out just for lobbers or possibly flingers coming up here. But for me, I, uh, I want to keep this. It's flawless. I don't need to change it very very cheap so all you have to do from up this slope place three walls along here so you'll end up right there at the back here I've got and get there in a sec edit floor tile like this facing that way and same again here, okay, and then on the third, edit floor tile, you want an edit tile like this, like that, okay? So once you've done that, okay, put that back, right, second floor tile along, place a wall here, okay? Don't need nothing special here, okay? And literally at the back of these walls, okay? I've got healing um, wall spikes, 
okay and the products i use is always this okay it's a quick build with obviously the sick part is healing okay so it's the end of it of slots hitting on that wall okay, so i've got it obviously that wall that wall and as you can see there okay so once you've done those walls and hills just place obviously two cones here and in obviously as it is shown here okay that's all you need there right so this wall here and this wall here okay you want to place sand walls okay and the perks for these sand walls is exactly what i'm showing you here okay and then obviously here is just your normal uh, wall dart which are already explained about the wall darts what I always use is this one here okay and from this right sound wall you want to place obviously a floor uh, ceiling above it and obviously with a zapper ceiling zapper okay and the perks I use is this one okay and that's all you need here right you don't need nothing here don't need nothing here so don't worry about that um i'm running an idea uh for a new ramp but obviously way 30 there's issues there so don't pay attention to that at the moment so nothing all around here nothing around here oh nothing around here nothing around here not even the staircase nothing around there okay welcome to the build the new build the flawless build okay i'm going to show you exactly what you need to do there so right down this bottle uh bottom part okay where you got this um obviously uh terrain part place two floor tiles here okay then one two three four across and then one two three four across again which will bring you to this bit okay so you want to go one two three across again to this ridge part okay so basically fill in all of this including one bit here and the reason why i've got this one here it's just in case anything gets stuck stuck down on that little um missing part on the ridge area okay for me i've got increased uh, building health uh floor spike here because after a lot of tests i have noticed some pass not beaten on this tile so all i've done is added this here and it's stopped them so they don't even hit on this bit so this is the parts i use for the wooden floor spikes and then obviously these two is obviously uh healing um floor spikes which is this one we have obviously with uh, a crit build and damage added to it and the sick part is obviously healing and the reason why for this is for a new build that i'm almost completely testing but I'm not going to show you that now. So this is part of that bit, okay? And also this, okay? So this is the top area part of it. Now, um, actually, I'll tell you, I'll leave that bit to last, okay? This is part of obviously this build and devil. Okay, so once you've filled in all of this, right place two walls here so just for reference place two walls here okay right these are obviously um wall spikes i've got obviously healing at the back both of these and obviously at the front here i've got increased uh building health um wall spikes and the perks is exactly what i just showed you there okay and the reason why is because every husk 
tons of uh, dropping down from up there all parking the natural path which is along here drop down here all there and these walls will shift their path in so they'll path over to the right hand side okay so okay so when you get down to obviously the bottom of this ramp you want to place two floor tiles here with anti-airs and have an anti-air facing that direction so you're facing the north and then this one are facing towards the east okay and nothing special on these uh, anti-airs the parts I'm just going to quickly show you now okay that's all you need then you want to place a full wall here okay and the parts for this sound wall okay there's two traps on here either side so I've got this sound wall at the front here okay so that perks one is obviously healing at the front okay and literally at the back here okay I've got a wall dock but the sick perk is increased building health um, I'll just find it now for you hopefully I'll still have it here yep that's the uh, wall dart I'd use for obviously for the back of this wall from that sand wall okay right so from that sand wall you want an added obviously uh, wall uh, wall like this so it's shaped like that okay and same again this side as well so once you've done that, you want obviously an edit floor piece um, edit like this, right there at the front. And then again, another edited uh, wall, just like this, so you have that shape. And then you want one, two, three full walls here along, okay? So from this uh, side, you want obviously increase um, Okay. Yeah, increase uh, wall spikes here. So the parrots is exactly the same there for this wall. But th for this wall, you want healing wall spikes. So there you go, that's the parrots again. So, and then you want to place two full tiles. Obviously, where you got the um, wall spikes there. So, I place uh, two obviously floors here, and the reason why for me, you don't want to get nothing stuck down in that little crack area. Okay? So, that's the reason why I've got the two uh, floor spikes. So, anything that does drop down here has got a smooth path going that way. If they wish which I'm pretty sure, yeah, uh, a sassed house will path that way. The rest, well, I'm not going to tell you. You have to see it for yourself, okay? It's a genius um, design. So once you've done, obviously, all the outside and the top part, okay, uh, I've told you about this edited floor piece here, okay? Once you come from here, you want another edited wall piece and it exactly like I've got here and again here so it's like that okay then you want to place one two three floor tiles along then obviously three more again along here edited like this okay then you got one two three again and then obviously the three edited um, tiles there Exactly like that. Then obviously these anti airs, okay. Nothing special. Um, all they are is literally these perks for the anti airs. So you want three that side, three that side. This one, um, all you need is your normal, obviously, wall dot. Nothing special. What I always news. This one here. 
okay? This is just for safety reasons, just in case anything comes down here, but I've ran it so many times, nothing even gets down there. And I'll explain the reason why, okay? So once you've done this top part, okay? Jump down again. So you literally pull position. If you come right down the bottom here, you want the second slope here, okay? So at the top of this second slope from the bottom, okay? I'll uh, get that on the map. Uh, just for reference. Yeah, right. That's all the floors what I've told you to put down. So from here, from this uh, second slope, uh, two edited uh, walls like this along here, okay, and then exactly the same, fill in obviously all of this, including under this little crack area. Exactly what I told you to do at the top there, so all it's all in line, every level, same again here, but obviously no anti airs, no walls here, apart from obviously here. Okay, so it's all in line, just for reference, there you go. And then jump down to the bottom again. Right, and welcome to your new ant design. Right, all you need to do is have in obviously walls like this, all the way around the ant, okay, as you can see. Every single corner piece there, don't need nothing on the top here, okay? So that's your whole ant design <laughs> and build. <laughs> yep, trust me, it's that good and it's a genius idea by other, so perfect. Um, he chose to, I think, correct me if I'm wrong, uh, Hubbo. Um, it might have changed to a different build now, but obviously many of us, we've got this um, as a flawless build now. So again, all credit to Hobbo for um, for his idea on this. Uh, there's a few of us who's um, obviously been running different tests on this uh, original idea. So now, that's your whole build. That's your amp design. Right, the fun part. At the top here, you want to place a floor piece literally right here, which is just above the geyser. Okay? And then have an edit cone to you so it's attached to this floor piece here. Okay, so it looks like this. Okay? Now, so if you're thinking, where does the husk go? Okay, genius idea. All the husks, where there's block off here, it changes the husk AI. So they won't even touch this. The husk AI will now, because no one's thought of it, so again, Hobo, brilliant idea. He decided to get all the husk going down here. If you're thinking to yourself, why would they go down there? The reason why it's the easiest way to get to the amp. Okay? And it's the cheapest build you can ever get. As far as I'm aware, I have not seen anyone with a build this cheap. So you don't even have to worry about track durability. Okay? Trust me. Build this, you see for yourself. You'd be absolutely amazed. So, many of us in our Discord were changing the mechanics from the old school days. We're learning more and more what you can get away with from the old school creators, what they taught us. 
So we're now changing the face of the game. Alright? So So when they actually go down there, what do um what do they actually do? Now for me, I keep them trapped. Okay? And I'm about to show you. So we're gonna go back down to the bottom again. Okay? I'm not going to go through that, guys, because I'm going to end up getting trapped down there. So, to show you, right, when you come down the bottom here, come towards, obviously, where the geyser is, and here you go. This is my idea. Okay? I've added to what was originally a great idea. So, instead of having your bait walls here, which uh, I'm pretty sure the majority of us are still um, using, or was, until now, get rid of them. You don't need them. And the reason why, okay, so, if you put, obviously, edited um, wall like this, so it's an archway, literally right here, okay, with a um, non-damaged draw spike here, okay, and then for me, uh, some people need to have a gas trap on top here. I've chose a uh, ceiling electric field because it does more damage and it's quicker than a gas trap. So if anything managed to get out of that geyser, they want to go straight to that app. Okay, so I want to kill them or keep them trapped here so they can't get out. So I've added obviously that ceiling electric field just above there, and the perks for that is what I always news. There you go. So from here, okay, uh, you can, if you want, uh, add obviously an edited wall like this, so it acts like a pillar, just in case you might get any phasing trying to cut this corner. I chose not to, but if you want to, add it. It doesn't make a difference, okay? It just keeps it all secure so nothing can get through. So for me, I've added um, an added uh, like a wall, so it's shaped like this, this way. So any house that wants to come round here, they literally got to walk further towards this uh, bait wall. This one bait wall acts exactly the same is having three bait walls around this geyser. So you're saving structures, you don't need them now. If you place the bait wall there, okay, it keeps everything here. So place the bait wall, including smashes and the mini bosses, they all come down here and get stuck in the geyser. They can't get out, period. So for this wall launcher, all I've done is added a three times impact. So basically every like piece like this across, you need impact. So you want three impact to send in three tiles. Okay, so the perks for my wall launcher is your uh, standard one, what you use in missions, is that one there. So, from this archway, you want to place, uh, I don't want to get trapped here, <laughs> another wall just above the archway. So, if you can see, I've got another wall just up the top here. It's to make sure, obviously, nothing uh, manages to squeeze through on the little rock formation here. Okay? And that is, I'm pretty sure, your whole build, what you need for a pit. So, just for a quick summary, because I had someone ask me, once I do a tutorial, can I do a quick uh, summary around everything I to show? So, here you go. Okay, obviously you're gonna have your block off, literally on the left hand side there, okay. Then obviously the little bit of block off up here, up on the side. Okay, then you come to your whole build. Okay, the two walls like this. Okay, 
fill in all the top part okay so from the natural hole bit there just fill it in with all floors obviously that extra one bit because that little gap along here okay then obviously around okay just like this your edit floor tile <coughs> okay so when you come through here you've got your two edit wall pieces well four actually around here then obviously all the walls here okay and then the floors three across three of these three across and then obviously you edit parts and then exactly the same on the next floor okay so when you come down from what you've just done up there you want two edited wall pieces like this here then your floor pieces all along here and then all along here again exactly the same so it's in line with the upper part okay and then obviously your amp design okay that's all you need around the amp and then obviously the trap itself uh, your wall launcher your edit floor piece like that uh, the archway obviously the ceiling part um, the other uh, wall just above that archway then your floor spike here and the floor spike is this one okay because you don't want to kill anything um if possible but if anything gets around here you have to try and do what you can with obviously a damage trap there or a skull which obviously pushes them straight back into the guys that in their trap they might be able to get out just remember i forgot the block off uh which i said a little bit earlier okay the block off for this part and for obviously for devil and our ridge but obviously i'm not going to show you that build yet it's almost done i've just got to iron out a few tiny little kinks so okay this wall dark don't worry that's for that so if you want to add it now please do so because i'm not going to remove it it's for a reason here so from that floor piece just add that um wall dart which obviously the parts for that one is that one there okay right for this okay you want to add here okay an edit uh wall piece like this so it's like a triangle piece like there and a floor on top with obviously a cone edited that way okay and this freeze floor trap the parts for that okay just double check yeah this is the normal one right okay is the one i use here that's your freeze floor trap on top of that edit cone on top of this floor piece okay okay i've got your normal um da -da -da -da, healing uh wooden floor spike so you can use that perk or that perk it's entirely up to you any one of these two as long as you've got the heels attached on this uh ceiling part okay right easiest way to show around the back is to go around this way okay so from this little tunnel bit okay so if you imagine you're at devil okay come down obviously this little cave area you want to place exactly what i've placed here so you've got a wall floor wall right so remember i told you about that edit cone at the very start with a freeze floor it's literally holding this uh, part here so once you've done that you want to place an edit floor piece like this 
just behind it. Then a wall. Then an added, um, obviously, cone like this. Okay. Then another wall. And that's all the block off you need for this uh, tunnel. If nothing comes through here. Okay. And there you go, guys. That's your whole new cheap flawless pit build. Hope you enjoy it, guys. Peace out.